and Tony DeCopel. A judge on the Caribbean island of Anguilla will decide today if a Connecticut man will go on trial there for allegedly killing a hotel worker. Scott Hapgood was vacationing with his family in April when he says Kenny Mitchell tried to rob him. Mitchell died after a struggle, and Hapgood was charged with manslaughter. Errol Barnett is here with how U.S. government officials are backing Hapgood's account. Errol, what can we expect today? Uh, well, good morning, Anthony. Look, if the judge does decide to go forward with this case, Hapgood will stand trial in front of a jury. Now, this case has gained nationwide, even international attention as he maintains his innocence. But people there on the island are angry that Hapgood hasn't yet paid for his alleged crime. We are still in shock that a simple vacation that we looked forward to for so long turned into a nightmare. As Scott Hapgood faces a potential trial in Anguilla, he has remained adamant that he and his family's lives were threatened on the day Kenny Mitchell died. Hapgood says on April 13th, Mitchell entered his hotel room with a knife demanding money. That led to a physical struggle which resulted in Mitchell's death. A bellman at the hotel, Joshuain Clark, was one of the first people to walk into the room during that fight. I take a peek in, I saw Kenny on his back and Mr. Hapgood over Kenny. He says Hapgood's forearm was on Mitchell's neck. The initial autopsy report showed Mitchell died from positional asphyxia, but a toxicology report obtained by the New York Times shows a lethal dose of cocaine could have killed Mitchell. I go back and forth to Anguilla in the face of significant dangers to make sure that the facts come out because the hard science shows what really happened. Hapgood and his family have appealed publicly, even to President Trump, for help with their defense and for protection. Just last week, a bipartisan group of seven lawmakers signed this letter asking the State Department for a, quote, ironclad guarantee of Mr. Hapgood's safety and security during his stay in Anguilla. To have the continuing threat of unfair and possibly secret criminal proceedings against them should never happen to any American. But residents of Anguilla are striking a different tone, demanding Hapgood pay a price for Mitchell's death. In August, we spoke to Mitchell's brother, Marshall. What would justice look like for you? As long as you take some jail justice, is, you take a life. You understand? CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman says Hapgood has benefited from positive press and government help. But she says the Anguillan judge will not allow the U.S. government to affect the ruling. It's one thing to want to clear your name in the environment in which you live. It's another thing to actually try to put pressure on a government of another country. And you have a small layer of complication here. Because Anguilla is a British territory, the bipartisan lawmakers are urging the State Department to get guarantees uh, from Great Britain that uh, this will be a fair trial. The lawmakers say ultimately it is the British government's responsibility to make sure this trial goes smoothly. Boy, I marvel that Mr. Hapgood goes and has been repeatedly yes, because yeah. he wants to clear oh, his yeah. name. It makes no sense that a hotel guest would, would kill a worker. On the other hand, it makes no sense that a hotel worker would kill a guest. Yes. But the, the evidence of cocaine in this case seems to add a whole other layer That's to right. the story. It's captivated the island. This yes. island uh, you know, thrives on its tourism, tourism and the hotel yes. industry. So everyone interested to see what the outcome will be. And he's due there today shortly. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Errol, thank, thank you very you much. Know. You got it.